I promise to do everything in my power to protect this city. I promise. What's up? Today we're playing Pop Tropica, a super nostalgic game. And I remember how you're just able to steal people's outfits in this game, including their mouth. Which is kind of strange if you think about it. But anyways, before we go any further, I have an important announcement to make. Make sure you watch the Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules movie in theaters March 25th. But yeah, let's just look at all these books. Simpler times, back in like middle school. Hey, I still like these books actually. Is it weird that I can remember like all of the pictures and references? Here you go, pictures from the best band to ever exist. Loaded diaper. And I was like, baby, 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 oh. I'm pretty sure Roderick was actually one of the best characters in the series. I mean, look, he was even an amazing scientist too. Well, I guess we could do the big name world. That seemed pretty fun. Oh, God. Well, never mind that. Back to Diary of Wimpy Kid. Is it just me or is it really weird to see the characters in color? Wow. Can't wait for the book though. Glad that's coming soon. Okay, yeah, it is really weird to see them in color. I guess you gotta try some of the rigged games. I got my lucky rabbit's foot here though. I'm just consistently good, what can I say? Okay, so I kind of got picked on by my teachers when I was in middle school because I basically only read Die Every Wimpy Kid. I guess they thought it wasn't educational enough. And, you know, it's good to learn new things, so let's go back in time. I'm not really sure why, but I actually remember this game being quite difficult. Like, some of the stuff you had to do were cryptic, so I had to look up the walkthroughs from, I think, Noodles. Alright, first fact, you don't actually need heavy equipment to go up to Mount Everest. About like oxygen or something? Yeah. Uh, whatever. And that's just a Statue of Liberty up here. That's cool. And here he is, Leonardo da Vinci. He made a tank. There you go. And there's also Manza Musa. He's the wealthiest person of all time with a net worth of approximately $418 billion. There you go, we return the final thing. And if you know anything about this island is that you had to return all these things back to their appropriate time periods so you could save the future. So, let's see how the future looks. Oh god, it's worse than I could have ever imagined. 